people, this is Hanime Sims and welcome back to my channel and another speed build. So today I'm actually building a strip mall with a few different stores in Magnolia Promenade, which is actually a world I don't usually build in at all, so I think this might be my first time ever building here. And this is actually a part of the hashtag love is in the air collab hosted by the wonderful Michaela Sims YT over on Instagram. I'm not quite sure from the top of my head right now how many Simbers are involved in this collab, but I know there's a lot of talented Simmers and we are filling up different worlds in The Sims 4 with Valentine's inspired builds. And I believe it's Mount Komorebi, Hanfron Bagley and Magnolia Promenade. And I think there aren't any other worlds um, besides from those. But at least there's going to be a lot of good stuff to check out. So I'm going to leave a list of everyone involved in the description. So please don't forget to check out everyone's creation and yeah, spread some love. <laughs> so we are sharing our creations on Valentine's Day, which is February 14th, but we can also post to Sunday. So it's actually Valentine's Day today when I'm recording this voiceover, but I think this video will be up on around Wednesday. Valentine's Day has passed and I want to ask, how was everyone's Valentine's? I know not everyone celebrates it, like, it's not in their culture, or maybe you don't have anyone special to celebrate it with, like myself. So for me, it's pretty much just like any other day, basically. <laughs> but then again, I like to think that Valentine's is about celebrating more than just romantic love. So it could be just celebrating those you care about, or yeah, giving some extra care to yourself too, maybe. So, did you do anything special on Valentine's or do you not celebrate it at all? Let me know, I'd love to hear all about it. And for my part, I'm just spending it at home with my family and I also bought some cake today, so I'm going to enjoy that. <laughs> and in my country, we also celebrated Mother's Day on the 13th, so on Sunday which is the second Sunday of February. So we also had more family over a visit then. And, and I'm not too sure how many countries celebrated at the same time as us, but I know that at least America and some other countries celebrate Mother's and Father's Day at different times than us. So it's probably <laughs> us who are the odd ones out. But yeah, let me know when you celebrate those days as well. I'd love to learn more about your cultures and yeah, your countries too maybe and what kind of uh, celebrations and holidays you have. For this build, I already knew when I chose the lot that I wanted to do a mall type of build. So in the beginning, I started off making kind of like a big mall, like a place for everyone to come together, maybe do some shopping in these small shops, go on dates, and those kinds of things. But when I took a break from it and I came back uh, a few days later, I wasn't satisfied at all, so I kind of cleared my head a bit and I gathered some inspiration from Pinterest, like I usually do. And that's when I saw photos of different strip malls, so like a street with some stores in a line along it. <laughs> so I ended up with three different stores. So this build is going to have enough <laughs> place to sit and eat, I think, because I added a lot of those outside, like where there's going to be a food stall, but also that uh, kind of like glass roofing on the furthermost right side 
so I think there's going to be a lot of natural light both from the windows but I also try to include some glass roofing so either that like flat glass roof from Island Living and on the middle one I just used the regular roofing but I used the window swatch so yeah lots of natural light and I think that's cute as well <laughs> I think maybe the sims are going to be more happy when there's a lot of natural light and yeah warmth as well and in the middle of this street there's also going to be a hopscotch which I custom made using some of those um, I think they're like pool lines or something that came with spa day I at least think they're in the pool category in the build section <laughs> but yeah I used those to make little squares outside so it's going to look like an actual hopscotch but without any of the numbers because I'm actually not sure if you use numbers on hopscotches everywhere in the world <laughs> but from what I remember there were numbers on the squares when I did hopscotching as a kid but unfortunately I wasn't too sure what I would use to make that in game but at least it has the shape of it so yeah just on a little extra detail that looks kind of nice but I also ended up using those like star plates from Get Famous like the one that you would find in Del Sol Valley downtown where there's like the walk of fame <laughs> kind of area so I tried to include some of those here as well to make it look like yeah there's maybe some famous people who have been here and who has gotten their star here so yeah just a little extra detail there as well so the first one I'm working on is a bridal and groom's boutique where I imagine couples would go and like stop by to pick out their wedding outfits and get their pictures taken but also get their hair and makeup done for like their big day so this actually fits really well for the new uh, game pack but if I remember correctly I started this build last month where we still didn't know about any of the new stuff coming out and I was actually kind of hoping we would get something new before Valentine's like the deadline for this collab but it's a little late <laughs> to like make any changes now but yeah I'm kind of satisfied with how this turned out anyway which with the items that I have from like all of the packs I own so for this boutique I wanted to have big windows to show off those mannequins with the dresses and suits and there's also going to be like racks of clothing on the second floor and behind the cashier in the first floor I made a custom display using the stranger wheel metal display I think comes with the military career and I also used that ring that's in debug so I sized up that ring a bit not too much I think <laughs> but just to make it you know visible that it's an actual ring and I raised it up with the 9 key on my keyboard so it looks like it's sitting in the display and here the tool mod really came in handy as well because there was going to be so many rings and so yeah I simply re replicated that ring with the tool mod and I could also replicate the entire display with all the rings to fit uh, on the right side of that one as well so there's two displays so yeah, I'm kind of satisfied with how that one turned out. And I also used lots of the stuff that came with Paranormal. 
because I started this build just after I got that pack. So I think I went a little crazy with it, but <laughs> in the end I think it fits the boutique and its style uh, very nicely, I would say, and I hope you think so too. Also on the first floor there's going to be some changing rooms, but those are mainly just going to be for the aesthetic. And on the second floor, besides that makeup station, which I think came with Get Famous, there's also going to be like that massaging chair that came with Spa Day. So maybe your sims would like to get some hand massages or um, foot massages or get their nails done or something like that. And yeah, just that image is... <laughs> really cute to think about so I really hope your sims is going to enjoy this boutique as well So the second store is going to be like a fast food or burger joint Which is going to function as a restaurant if you make this lot into a restaurant one But I think this is going to end up just being a generic lot So it kind of depends on what part of this lot you want to use but ideally I like for all of the parts here to be functional but unfortunately that's not possible in the sims 4 or at least not yet so for this i've taken inspiration from mostly that kind of mcdonald's kind of vibe <laughs> and maybe like the more modern architecture and maybe not that very colorful McDonald's we saw a lot in the past even though that's kind of nostalgic just to think about <laughs> so for this one there's going to be a drive through so I put a, win a window in the back to make it look like you can drive by give your order and pick up the food from there there's also going to be uh, that kind of basic place to give your order with like the menu above it inside and also the chef's station behind it. And all of these stores are going to be two stories tall. So in this burger joint, I actually contemplated using that big jungle gym from Toddler's Stuff Pack. Simply because it reminded me of that area in McDonald's where you could play as a kid. <laughs> there was at least one of those at the lock local mcdonald's i went to as a kid but i actually have no idea if it's still there now or if that's still a thing but i also remembered i celebrated a birthday at mcdonald's once <laughs> which was cool back then so yeah it was my inspiration behind that, that id but in the end i turned the second floor into just like a simple space to sit and eat plus I made some toilets because I wasn't too sure where else I would put those but yeah also outside of this joint I wanted to have more space to eat so I put those tables with the umbrellas on them and then there's going to be some palm trees and flowers surrounding them in those debug boxes with the green patches and the stone fence <laughs> at a lack of, of a better word <laughs> I'm not really sure what those are called right now but yeah <laughs> I hope that described it well enough to make you understand what I mean but you'll see them in the video so this shop is going to look a little different than the other ones because it's not going to be very bright and light in the color scheme but it's going to be more like with the black color and that warm light wood so it's going to look a bit more modern because the other ones have more of a white and silver kind of color scheme and more pink and light wood in comparison to yeah this uh, burger shop the third store is going to be an ice cream parlor so i was actually inspired by an ice cream display i'd seen fellow simmer Pazarin doing one of her room builds 
some time ago. So I used one of those slim tables and raised it up. I placed that Moschino display windows in front of it and on the sides. So it looked like it's closed off uh, with windows. But on the inside where the worker is going to scoop some of that ice cream, I used those pet bowl. I used those. <laughs> I used those pet bowls. <laughs> I used those pet bowls that came with cats and dogs, like Passerine did in her room, and I filled them with little gems and stuff to make it look like actual ice cream, but yeah, very colorful ones too. <laughs> but unfortunately that's not going to be functional, but I did add that little ice cream machine that came with, I think, cool kitchen stuff. So yeah, you could make some ice cream there as well, even though like not uh, that custom one is going to work. And yes, yeah, so I kind of based this entire store off of that one. And I wanted to decorate this to be very cutesy to go with the Valentine's theme. And the second floor is going to have like a little stage for musicians. So there's a microphone, a keyboard, and a guitar. So yeah, there's going to be some entertainment here as well, if you would like that. But there's also going to be a play area for the kids. So I put that one big arcade machine that came with Get Together and the Don't Wake the Llama table and also just some extra decorations like that big box of toys that came with parenthood. Yeah, so it's going to look really nice and cute <laughs> and a nice place for the kids to be as well. And initially I wasn't going to have anything special downstairs, but I switched out some bookshelves with some computers. So it's kind of like an old school internet cafe as well. <laughs> And for the ice cream shop, for the exterior, I also wanted to make it look kind of cutesy. So, like I did on a previous build, I did, I think it was the bowling one where I used the Void Critter characters. So I also used those characters here to make that kind of sign on top of the roof with the rainbow and the characters, but also down by the window. I used like the freezer bunny and once again I used that kind of I used that city living pay machine or something <laughs> and sized it down and I put it next to it so it kind of looks like you can push some buttons and then the freezer bunny might say some words and yeah I really like that idea so I'm kind of bringing it <laughs> into some of my builds sometimes and hopefully you enjoy those ideas as well. I also used some more city living objects on this build, like the uh, like on the back side. There's going to be that big billboard. So I believe I used the pink swatch with like, and I think it's kind of promoting a perfume or something. <laughs> At least I always love using those billboards and just uh, city living debug objects in general. So yeah, I think I said pretty much everything I wanted to say about this build. So now we're just going to head on over to that ice cream parlor I was just talking about. And yeah, don't forget to check out the hashtag loveisintheair collab both on the gallery and on Instagram. And uh, yeah, spread some love. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to end this voiceover now. But as always, you can find this build on the gallery. My ID is Alric, but you can also find it under the hashtag Hanamasims. I hope you enjoyed this build. And if you did, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe for more content. And hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on anything in the future. 
I hope you all have an amazing day and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!